piled up. This whole city is a mass grave. Monroy's people, they did this. I think it's getting real clear who the packs were scared of, who they changed themselves into ferals to protect themselves from. Seems like they got hit by the worst storm yet. Hundreds died, humans and packs. Some of the obelisks were damaged too, so... Whatever the packs once were doing to control the storms, they couldn't do it anymore. He feared an uprising, losing control, as packs started to abandon the city. Uh, Nikolai Galyatkin. Monroy made him general, and put him in charge of weapons production. No doubt the same weapons the Ferals used against them later. This place, it was a slave market. Minroy, this palace is covered with flags. All... It's gotta be his face. He made himself king of the Pax. A tyrant.
Courtyard's clear. Monroy was sending out raids to hunt down the fleeing packs. And that's when the uprising he'd predicted finally found him. But it wasn't the packs. At least, not as he expected. The Pharaohs. He never saw them coming. But Monroy didn't retreat. That asshole dug in, out there in the desert, and tried to track them down, where they were coming from. That's when he found the canyon and the great obelisk. He finally understood there who the Pharaohs were. But that's when he got word that the city was under attack. And so it was the beginning of the end. I've made it to the top. Palace is clear. What do you see? You better come up here and see for yourself. This Monroy was a madman. Hey, there's a ship! Is that... the Caravel? That's not possible. Caravel never left Earth. Its engines exploded. Tens of thousands died. Then what the hell are we looking at? The source of the fucking signal. Monroy's signal. There's no place beyond the storm. It's coming from in there, protected from the anomaly, just like the uplink in your goddamn briefcase. I don't fucking understand. Neither do I. It doesn't make any sense. Everyone saw the Caravel explode during its construction. Even if the people left on Earth were able to rebuild the ship, they left after us. We were the first. Nevertheless, what's certain is that Monroy enslaved August's people. He butchered them, and they turned. They mutated into savages willingly, so they could fight back. I'm done with all this. Whatever's waiting for you on that ship, I want no part of it. Tiago, you can't leave us now. I thought you weren't a deserter. What they did to August's people. What our people did to August, don't you see? Thank you for letting me walk away with you. We're going to finish this. We're finding a way into the caravel. This is it now. That ship, the signal, the garden. I'm ready to make some sense of all this. We'll leave on your word. There has to be a way inside the ship. I'll radio when I've secured a path. There's no on the anomaly. Why are we still heading to this stupid ship? If the signal is shielded from the anomaly inside, it means we can use the uplink in there to contact the Flores. All the supplies, the resources, the tech, we're gonna bring them down today.
Not done going through hell yet. When the packs started to flee the city, Monroy rounded up every last one of them that stayed behind, that were loyal and trusting, and threw them into these labor camps. What I know of the packs, they could not have survived long in there. It was all Monroy. When he understood the packs were turning into ferals, he sent out an order to murder them all before they could transform. All of them. All but enough to run his camp.
All this time, all we've been through, the battlefields, the jungles, the alien ruins, the desert, all we've lost. I can't believe we're finally here. The goddamn signal I heard the day we landed. And still, none of it makes any sense. Oh, I think I'm starting to put it all together. The way the Pax controlled the anomaly with their obelisks, they are what kept the planet's energy in check. They were the balance. But when Monroy stopped the Pax from using the obelisks out of pure fear of what he couldn't understand, the anomaly spread like wildfire across the planet, the storm surging out of control, mutating everything. All this time, they we were gonna reach a place beyond the anomaly. Only to find the place it all started. Where Monroy started it. They're the ones who got left behind. And half of them probably slaughtered the rest for a last seat on the caravel. Tanner and Jakob, we all should have been down there with the rest. Hopeless, drowning in chaos, nothing but dictators and madmen set loose. If the caravel's engine hadn't exploded and killed most of the outriders... We would have been the ones left on Earth. Two more soldiers in Monroe's damn army, fighting for any way off the Earth. Coming here to slaughter the Pax, and screwing up the whole damn planet before you all ever set foot on it. I'm inside the ship. It's still operational. Whatever's playing the signal, it's in here. Let's finish this together. Let's finish this. The end of the road, one way or another. Despite everything, we've brought the uplink all this way. I wish Jane could see us. Whatever's playing the signal, it's in here. Let's finish this together. As I saw it, as we saw it. Jana, that's not real. That's this planet, all right, but it's long gone. No. No, it's. Get the fuck off! It's. No 
mood for this today. You okay? Oh. You, you're here. I have... I had imagined this so many times. Never you. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> Nimroy? But how? How did you... How did this ship get here before us? How do you think? You people left us to die as the Earth crumbled. But I don't die so easy, do I? <laughs> no, we built a, a new engine. An engine that, that chained all others before it. So while you were still crawling through deep space, we were already here. <laughs> oh, you should have seen it. Their primitive civilization, the natives, they treated us like gods. Yeah. I've seen what you did to the natives. Oh, oh. I see now. This isn't a rescue. Why didn't you come when we sent out the distress call? Huh? It's 30 years since the Flores arrived in our skies. 30 years surviving in this hell. This hell was because of you. My entire life trapped in that valley, slaughtering each other for nothing. You robbed our people of hope before we even got here. Oh, don't flatter yourselves. You were as capable of every wickedness. The Pax weren't as docile as they looked. They had powers. So much power. Things I had to understand. So you just rounded them up? You tortured them, you son of a bitch. Are you really so naive? How long before those creatures tired of us? Before they turned against us? They would have had us on our bloody knees. All that I wanted was their powers. For us, for all of us. So we could survive, so we could be strong. Don't you see? We lost the Earth because we were meant for something more. But for the grace of I go you, my child. Do you think that you would be standing there with the powers of a god if it hadn't been for me? All that I've done for humanity, I saved us. You cursed us. But I won. done. Fuck him. No more wasting time. I have to tap the uplink into the caravel's power so we can reach the floor as before we... Shit. He found us. We gotta go. No, no. Leave me. I have to do this. Do what you gotta do, Doc. That door won't hold long. Outrider, if that beast cracks this ship's hull, we lose electronics, we lose the pods, we lose everything. I'll take care of it. You just get those pods down.
Zahidi? What's happening in there? It's working! I've contacted the florist. Transmitting the first launch codes. Now! Almost there! Almost there! Zahidi, get out of there! We have to leave! I can't! I have to transmit the code! No! Damn it, Ma! Signal, the uplink, it was all for nothing. Wait, guys, look, over there. The pods, it, it worked? You did it. My god. I guess some of the commands went through after all. Well, like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. <laughs> what the hell? Monroe's people? No, I don't think so. Who are you? We're from the war zone. Are you the Outriders? We heard tales about an altered outriders opening the frontier, finding a cure in the forest. We've been following your trail since the war zone. So, what now? We keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> 